veteran writer Billy Shobowale has accused former President Elisha Ogun Pasanjo of being solely responsible for Nigeria's underdevelopment from 1999 to the present. Shobo claims that instead of fulfilling its promises to the Nigerian people, Obasanjo's administration installed even more incompetent and dishonest successors. Furthermore, Shobo Ali asserts that Obasanjo's administration set a damaging precedent for corruption in governance, creating a template that subsequent leaders have followed to the detriment of the country. By holding Obasanjo accountable for his actions, Shobo Ali hopes to highlight the need for leaders to take responsibility for their failures and to work towards a better future for Nigeria. According to what Silas Shubawali said in the report by Vanguard News, we are headed for the po fourth position. Obasanjo should be held mostly responsible for the underdevelopment of Nigeria from 1999 until now. His administration failed to redeem its promises to Nigerians and he improved successors worse than himself in every way imaginable. His administration also established the templates for corruption in governance for others. See, today, we still don't know how 13 to $16 billion meant to increase power supply to 10,000 megawatts per day vanish. The results are there for us to see. So what has been happening? Why can't they go after him? Why can't you write a petition to EFCC? Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that came to mind is that, you know, all these uh, past leaders, I don't know how they feel. I don't know who they want to be blaming because if you ask Obasan Jona, he will tell you he did well. You ask uh, even uh, Babangida will tell you he did well. Oh, when you ask Gowan, okay, he will tell you, oh, they did fantastically well. Not on top of a... Uh, uh, Jonathan, hey, if you know, even APC themselves know that uh, Buari failed Nigeria and Nigerians woefully. But for now they are talking. If you see us asking Buari, he will tell you he did heaven and earth. Now Tinubu is doing fine, as far as we know. Even with uh, his antecedents, we still believe he's, he's doing fine. Then who is the person that destroyed Nigeria? Because everybody says, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. I did my this thing well. Then who destroyed Nigeria? We have been saying it. Everybody is aware that uh, the problem we have in this country is leadership. If we have a right leaders, everything will be fine. But and we have we know the leaders that say uh, we've had in this country, but none of them will come out and say I'm the one that spoils the country. It's just unfortunate, and we are we keep on moving around the circle. Hmm? Keep on moving around the circle. This man called Shubali is not serious and need psychiatric uh, attention. I'm not with Obasanjo, but it's not. This man is trying to trend. In APC, uh, we who does not even know it was Obasanjo that got all creditors to write off Nigeria debt and the country became debt free. He built five gas powered electric stations that were completed in Jonathan's time. The present government inherited Buhari regime incompetence and it's even worse under Tinubu. The only thing OBJ failed to do was to restructure the country and I believe he later regretted the inaction. I believe OBJ alone. I don't even understand. Her people are angry because the word came out from a fellow like him. Or you believe it's lying. OBJ is one of Nigeria's worst leader. It is part of why we are where, where we are. And the worst thing that happened to Nigeria is the existence of Buhari and Tinubu as president of Nigeria. I don't even understand. I uh, can't even get it. Obasanjo made Nigeria great during his administration, but the worst is Buhari and Tinubu. The question is that what are the things that Obasanjo did that everything both rich and the poor both uh, privileged and less privileged gain but in all of those other ones eh, they cherry pick eh, some people see see what Buhari just did just give some people peanuts they will tell you is a palliative created a humanitarian resources and all of that at the end of the day where are the people are the people better off trade that money 
how are people faring today? Are people better off? Nothing. They will tell you consistency projects. They will buy useless things for people. Does it mean does that make their life better off? Nothing. It's even worse. The phone where you they used to type is the brain behind the use in Nigeria. It is like a it's not well he paid total debt and even fifty eight billion dollar naira was left in the foreign reserve. One when he entered, he didn't even complain. Where are the complaining? Why they are complaining today? Kindly check how much Nigeria government owing as far as today as such. Today we owe not less than eighty eight point seven billion dollar. Yes. But don't forget uh, he established the operation of refine the crude oil. Wow. From abroad to make sure his refinery in abroad will be one of the beneficiary of the program. This dude is not serious. I'm sure he can't even rule his home effectively. Since what I've done to right the wrong, have you contested to any position? How many times have you written an open letter to the president, including OBG? It's like a, you ate overnight amala and fermented legally. <laughs> Hmm, let me answer your question concerning issues of a $16 billion. Uh, just talking, you don't even know anything. Don't you don't know when they said a papa was congested? Where you 80% 80, 80 member, he paid for nobody. I don't understand what this one is saying. Well, one thing is that, uh, Oga, don't answer that. Oga, Oga is even better than you all. You are not worthy to live if that is how you can reason the fact of person just so everybody just say what he or she knows or what he or she feels because at the end of the day we are all feeling the same thing that these people have inflicted on Nigerians. So guys, let's know what you think. Let's roll in the comment section.